guys welcome back okay so i am still working through some of my shop my stash palettes okay you guys know that's a task for me because <laughs> i picked too many but i had a lot of fun today creating this eye look it's kind of like a smoky green burgundy gold type cut crease and i like how it came out and these lashes are like the biz biggest lashes I've ever worn before in my life. So I kind of like them though. <laughs> so yeah, today's video is going to be me doing a full face. So I'm doing um, everything in this video. But I use these two palettes to create this look. So I used my Nomad by Juvia's. I know you guys are very familiar with this palette. I love this palette. This palette is just... It's such a beautiful green, earthy, warm slash cool tone palette. I really, really love it. So I did play in this today. I think I used about four shades out of here. And I also played in my new Violet Voss I Love You palette. This one I actually got from BoxyCharm. And they also had it available in the boxy pop-up, I believe. But yeah, I didn't know anything about this palette until I got it in my box. So this is what this one looks like. You know, some really pretty shimmers in here. Not very aggressive. I don't really think it's olive enough, to be honest with you, to be called I Love You. Because it's really just some green shimmers in here and then a basic neutral palette. But... It worked out well today with the eye look that I wanted to do. So I did use about three shades out of here, I believe. And I think that these two palettes actually paired very nicely together. Playing with them together it was a lot of fun. So if you'd like to see how I created this look today, let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, you guys. So I'm getting started today by placing a serum on my face. I am going in with my VC Effector 10. It's skin serum. And this one is a vitamin C serum. Feels really, really nice and really brightens the skin. Now I'm going to moisturize with my Tarte Baba Bomb Moisturizer. This is what I've been using from my Shop My Stash. Very, very nice moisturizer, you guys. It really leaves my face nicely hydrated. And I really like how it feels. I mean, right now my skin is a little bit more dry than usual. So I'm really enjoying this moisturizer. So for my brows, I'm using my e.l.f. brow pencil today and my Wet n Wild concealer to clean them up. And to prep my lids, I'm using my P. Louise Base. Love this base, you guys know that. And I'm just evening it out with a small little beauty sponge. So you guys know I'm using these two palettes today. So I'm starting out with my Juvia's Place palette and I'm just going in with this super duper dark brown cool tone matte shadow. There's no names for the shadows in this palette. <laughs> At least not on my palette, there aren't any names, but just taking a fluffy brush, tapping that in the outer corner, creating that outer V, as you can see here. And then I'm just dragging that throughout my crease using that same fluffy brush. I just wanted kind of a nice blended effect for this shade. Next, I'm going into the Violet Voss palette and I'm pulling this shadow here, which is called Infatuated. It's kind of, I don't even know how to describe this shade here. It's a really nice transition shade though. It kind of has like a little bit of a pinky burgundy tone to it, but it's very, very light as you can see. Just using that to blend out the edge of that darker shade for a nice transition into the upper portion of my lid. Now to cut my crease, I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas in the shade Halo. Just a perfectly white base. And as you can see, I'm just lining above my lashes so that I can just look up and create that, you know, space that I need to cut my crease in. Very, very easy way to figure out where you need to cut your crease. So I use that technique quite often. So as you can see, I'm kind of dragging it out for a nice kind of winged out shape. 
and making sure I have a nice even base. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with this eye look. <laughs> so just kind of winging it as usual. So taking the black out of that Violet Voss palette, which is called Infinity, I'm just using a flat brush to tap that on the outer V portion of my lid. And I stopped right at the edge of my lid, as you can see. Now I'm going into this kind of like army green matte shade from the Juvia's palette and tapping that right next to that black still in the outer corner of my eye. Now for my shimmers, I'm starting out with this kind of like olive green shimmer from the Violet Voss palette. As you can see, I did spray my brush and I'm just applying that right next to that green matte shade. And I also wanted to use one of my Super Shock shadows today. So I'm going into the shade Campfire, which is actually from the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop collab set. And I'm just tapping that on the inner portion of my cut crease. And I really love how that color blended together with that olive green. I really, really like that. So now I'm just doing a bit of cleanup work using a wipe. And I'm going back in and tapping just a little bit more of that black shadow down because I wanted my outer crease just to be a little bit darker and a little bit more blended into that green. So moving on to the face, we're using our Touch and Soul primer today. This is the Icy Sherbert primer. It really works nicely to kind of blur out my skin and fill in my pores. I do like that about this primer. It does have a consistency that takes a little while to get used to, but I think it works really well. So you guys know I like using this Essence Camouflage Concealer right now just to kind of handle my dark circles and discoloration around my face before I go in with my foundation. It just kind of helps to alleviate any major issues that I have around my face. So I think this is a really, really good drugstore or affordable concealer honestly so just blending that out with my sponge before i go in with my foundation to make sure that it's nice and even now for foundation today i am using my nars in macau medium deep using a flat brush and just making sure that it's nice and damp and this is the shade that I'm going in with. Uh, this isn't the foundation I chose for my shop, my stash, but you know how you just feel like using something different every now and then. <laughs> so this is what I chose for today. And at first I wasn't sure how I felt about using the flat brush to apply it, but it actually worked out fine in the end, um, helping me to get a nice even, you know, coverage of this foundation. I really like the um, finish of it it's a nice natural finish not too too matte or too too dewy I really like it so yeah for concealer I'm using my ColourPop pretty fresh pretty fresh concealer and what I like about this concealer is that it's not super heavy it's a real nice lightweight concealer but it does offer you know, a nice amount of coverage. In my opinion, it doesn't just completely blend away. You guys know I like to use a sponge for my concealers. And so there's always a concern for me of my concealer just completely disappearing into the sponge. But you know, this one is actually not bad for it to be a nice lightweight amount of coverage. So yeah, I'm actually really, really liking the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. Now to set those areas, I'm taking my Milani Loose Powder. This is the Make It Last Translucent Medium Deep. And I originally started out just wanting to use that to set, you know, my concealed areas like I normally do. But as I started applying it, I really felt like the powder was looking nice on my skin and I wanted to just try it out all over my face. So I ended up just using this as my setting powder today and I feel like it worked out really nicely. I really, really like the finish of it. 
So I chose my Hula Toasted Bronzer from Benefit today. Hadn't used this bronzer in quite a while and just wanted to play with it today. And I really just started to remember how much I love this bronzer as I was using it. I was like, oh yeah, I really like this bronzer. So yeah, it's a really, really nice bronzer. It works very well for, you know, your darker skin beauties, as you can see, is very smooth and easy to blend. Now for blush, I'm taking my Winky Lux. This is one of their rose shaped blushes and this is a very nice light flush of color, as you can see on the cheeks. I really like this blush. You do kind of have to go in if you want any real pigment though. So for highlight, I'm using this Sosu Dripping Gold Illuminating Bronzing Powder. And uh, <laughs> I don't even think I really have to say much about it because you can see it, honey. It is really nice. It's really pretty, um, buildable, easy to apply. And it's definitely one that, you know, I think would look nice on those collarbones during the summer as well. For my lower lash line, I'm going in with one of my RK by Kiss eyeliner pencils. This one is actually called peachy king but it looks more orange to me which i did appreciate because i felt like it showed up more than i thought it would actually on my lower lash line so now to smoke out my lower lash line i'm taking this dark green matte from the juvia's place palette and i'm just using a dense pencil type brush to kind of smoke out that lower lash line and you know just kind of bring the colors from the top down to the bottom i wanted to go into this yellow so i decided to use that for my inner corner pop you guys know i like kind of doing things a little bit different around here so <laughs> that's what i'm using for my inner corner pop is this yellow matte shade for lashes i am using one of my lollipop lashes that i pulled for shop my stash and this is one of the larger styles called yaruchi and for my lower lashes, I'm going in with my Milk Mascara. For my lips, I'm using one of these, uh, what is it? Glossier Play Liners, which I actually think is an eye pencil, but you know, I don't mind kind of using things for different, <laughs> different things around here. So I used it for my lips today and I'm going in with one of my Fenty cream gloss bombs so this is the final look you guys i actually really like it it's not super crazy colorful like i normally do but it was a lot of fun to create and i felt like it was something different for me and i like how it turned out so let me know in the comment section what you think if you like it if it's something you would try thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on the next one toodles